criminal proceedings against 37 suspects in the 468 million shillings NOS scandal kicked off at the anti-corruption court Tuesday after attempts by the defense team to have the matter adjourned hit a snag. In the application for adjournment, the lawyers had requested for more time to go through evidence statements submitted by the prosecution earlier this week. However, in his ruling, Magistrate Douglas Ogoti ordered the proceedings to continue as had been agreed by the parties, saying reasons given by the lawyers did not meet the threshold that could have adjourned the trial. On Monday, the court agreed to adjourn the trial until Wednesday to give the defense team more time to study evidence after the prosecution introduced new charges against the suspects including money laundering and dealing with suspects' property. Meanwhile, the judge who was presiding over the appeal by former Nairobi town clerk John Gakuo says he regrets his death as it occurred before justice could be done. Justice John Onyengo said he was keen to hear the appeal expeditiously, having denied Gakuo, former PSA Mikirui, and former Nairobi County Legal Secretary Mary Ngethe bail pending appeal. He, however, indicated that the appeal will proceed without Gakuo and is set for 8th of next month. And Machako's governor, Alfred Mutua, will not be prosecuted over the alleged fraudulent purchase of 16 motor vehicles for the county government. This is after the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission and Director of Public Prosecutions reached consent with the governor at the appeals court. The parties also agreed to bear the individual cost of the case that had been filed at the court of appeal. It is important to know that investigative organs have a duty to investigate and they have to do their job, so I can't blame them for doing their job and investigating. But it's also good to note that it is also good for us to accept that things cannot be done the same way all the time, that we have to give flexibility for creativity, especially if it's going to save our people money. We allocated 140 million, we only spent about 35 million shillings. We saved money, which we were able to roll in and do other things like buying the ambulances and other things. The Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission and the Director of Public Prosecutions undertook not to institute any criminal charges against the governor as they were the subject of a criminal case in Machakos court. And 24 hours after Justice James Wakiaga granted journalist Jackie Maribe a 2 million shillings bond or a 1 million shillings cash bail, Maribe has finally walked to freedom after her lawyer spent the day putting together paperwork to secure her release. Maribe, in meeting her terms, deposited a 1 million shillings cash bail to the court and two sureties of a similar amount. Though she was granted bail, the presiding judge ruled that she will have to live with the strict bond terms, including not reading news for the period the matter is before court. Jackie is now out of uh, Langata Women's and we thank God. We are just uh, asking that we give her time and space to recuperate and even as this thing is ongoing, let us give her the support that she requires. Her co-accused Joseph Irungu Alas Joey was however denied bail and will be remanded pending trial after the prosecution successfully convinced the court that he is indeed a flight risk. Ben Chumba reporting for Scales of Justice.